All right, everybody, what is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back. Got some team deathmatch here on Gridlock. And we're going to be running some high score streaks, fellas. We're going to be running the Bloop Copter, my favorite copter in the game. We're going to be using the Strike Team and the AC-130, the real fan favorite score streak that Treyarch brought back to Black Ops 4. Not the dart. <laughs> the dart ain't nobody's fan favorite. <laughs> the dart, oh my god. I still can't believe they chose to bring the dart back over the Hunter Killer drone. Uh, basically, all the dart is is a manual Hunter Killer drone. I don't know why they just... Look at this dude, man. Look, oh, come on, son. Seriously. I, I hate people, dude. They just spawn and immediately move to the head glitch. I, I hate that, but whatever. Today's video, guys, we're going to talk about how to get the high score streaks in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. I know it can be difficult, especially when you factor... Score streaks are how they used to be back in the good old days when all you needed was 11 kills and you get the highest score streak in the game. Oh, no, no, no. The highest score streak in this game is the AC-130 gunship. And in Team Deathmatch, you need a whopping 16 kills, or 16 score, to get the gunship. And the gunship is awesome. The only problem is it's only good on a handful of maps. A lot of these maps are loaded with buildings. And even this map right here, Gridlock, this is a terrible AC-130 map because of the highway. Uh, just all the stuff that's blocking the road here, the street where everyone is. You're going to see a little bit later. Now, normally I use the acoustic sensor. And the acoustic sensor has been a godsend for me in this game with the crazy spawns, how fast everything moves. The spawns be flipping super quick. What happened to my aim? I, I, I don't know what happened to my aim right there. Oh, my God, the ICR. <laughs> ICR, RIP, baby. That ICR, dude, the accuracy with that gun. I know we got a major weapon tuning coming up uh, this week. I don't know if the ICR is going to catch a nerf. Listen, I don't want to see anything catch a nerf in this game. If anything, I want everything else buffed. Don't nerf shit, okay? I want these guns. These guns already take too long to kill. Do I think the ICR is overpowered? Hell, yeah, I do. That don't mean I want to see it get nerfed, though. Oh, get smacked, bitch. Oh, my goodness. Yo, <laughs> did I just beat a shotgun dude with a two-strike melee in Black Ops 4? Yes, I did. <laughs> Fellas, if that don't deserve a titty smack on the like button, I don't know what does, man. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But anyway, like I was saying, man, the score streaks in modern-day Call of Duty games are grossly overpriced, okay? You should not have to go out and get 16 kills for a score streak that's only good on a handful of maps in this game. And even for the strike team, the strike team, you need 13 and a half kills. For the bloop copter, the third streak I'm running, you need 11 kills. And that's not even the highest helicopter in the game. The attack helicopter, you need more kills than that. So I don't know why Call of Duty has score streaks so overpriced these days. But thanks to this handy dandy piece of gear right here, we're going to get a fresh employee discount on all these overpriced Black Ops 4 score streaks. The Comsec device takes the bloop copter from 11 kills and lowers it all the way down to 9. So that's really nice. So you get two less kills needed to get this bloop copter, the sniper's nest. And the sniper's nest is actually really good. I love it. I love sniping back the snipers. All you snipers out there, you stare through the scope long enough. And the scope will stare back <laughs> with the bloop copter, baby. And I'm so close to getting it too, man, thanks to the Comsec device. And we're going to call in the K9 unit. Now, the K9 unit is good for 125 score per kill. So, let's see. Ooh, there you go, baby. Got me the kill. And I'm going to call in my bloop copter. K9 unit out there on the prowl. Ooh, picking up my strike team. Thanks to the Comsec device. I love it, man. So, the Comsec device takes the strike team from 1350 score required all the way down to 1050. So, it lowers it by three kills. The higher up you go the more the Comsec device is beneficiary. So if you're running the high streaks, like the Strike Team and the AC-130, the Comsec device is where you want to go, man. And listen, I know... I mean, look at the Strike Team putting it work. Finally. <laughs> Damn, took long enough. And listen, I know the Strike Team counts towards your nuclear streak kills. I'm cool with that. I, I, do, I do not want to see that get nerfed. I love that, actually. Uh, and look, got the AC-130. <laughs> Bringing in the AC-130 now. This is just a real nice score streak loadout to run, fellas. The only thing is, I mean, look at this map, bro. Look at the busted up highway blocking everything. Look, I can't see shit. Where is everybody? I know my strike team's on the ground killing people too, making it harder for the AC-130 to get kills. I probably should have waited. 
I, I probably should have waited till the bloop copter and the strike team went away before I called this in. But I was just so happy to get it. I just called it in as soon as I got it, man. AC 130. Oh, my goodness. This streak in MW2 was such a monster, dude. Oh, my God. All right, here we go. Come on. Where's everybody at? Strike team and bloop copter still killing people. Yeah, I definitely should have held off, man. But you really want to run the ComSec device, fellas. It's going to really help you get these score streaks. And, I mean, once you get these streaks, dude, if you get it on the right map. I mean, look at this right here. Look at the highway blocking everybody. Come on, son. Track, why do you have this in the game? Come on, man. You put these devastating score streaks in the game, then you make it so hard to hit, hit people with them. Oh, nice two-piece from the gunship right there. So, mm, ComSec device, fellas. I know it's tough to give up the acoustic sensor. I know it's tough to give up the stim shot and the body armor. But if you really want to hit these high streaks and have some less stress in hitting them, <laughs> ComSec device is where you want to live. Especially if you stack it with Crash. You'll see in the next gameplay, I stacked the ComSec device with Crash. Oh, my goodness, dude. So nice. So nice. And I was just waiting for that guy to peek his head around the corner. That's why I was pre-firing that. I know there was nobody there. I was just trying to get lucky with a pot shot. So there you go, fellas. I went 34 and 4 in this gameplay, I believe. And here's a play of the game. Ooh, damn, the Rampart. I got to show the Rampart some more love, man. It's a great gun. The Rampart got FMJ. <laughs> Look at that thing, baby. Mm. A lot of good weapons in this game, man. I'm, and I suspect they're going to be adding a lot more, too. So, we're moving right along to this gameplay right here. And I'm going to be using Crash this time. And, oh yeah, I know there was a Hertz update too, fellas. I, the road to 60 the Hertz, that was a, a pretty short road. It looks like on October 27th, there was an update that buffed all the servers up to um, 64 Hertz. Not even 60, even higher than that. So, the hit detection might feel a little more crispy in these lobbies. The, the shoot first and die moments, there might be a little bit less. So, that's pretty cool. It didn't take too long, man. It did not take too long, only a couple weeks for the servers to get up to speed, and I'm definitely happy to hear that. So, playing with Crash and the ComSec device is amazing, especially if you have teammates that actually resupply like they should. I'm going to pick up the Sniper's Nest and watch me give my teammates a health boost. Watch this. Ooh, caught them all too. Got plus 175, picked up the strike team. I mean, bro, <laughs> you guys really want to hit them high streaks? Run the ComSec device and Crash. You'll get the high streaks like nothing, dude. I mean, trying to get them without the ComSec device can be pretty hard. I mean, going on a 16 streak in this game can be really, really difficult. So, ooh, Sniper's Nest out there blooping on people, baby. I love it. <laughs> Too bad there wasn't a Sniper's Nest score streak in COD World War II, man. Just put a couple of granddads up in a hot air balloon with the Car 98 Nightmare and have them just blooping on people all day long. Oh, my God. Would have been my favorite streak in the game. Imagine all the rage quits if the Sniper's Nest score streak was in COD World War II. Oh, my good. Another bloop. Another. I'm out here blooping on people, baby. I could change that clan tag, man. It's not 30 hertz anymore. It's 64 hertz. Oh, strike team. Oh, strike team with the triple, baby. <laughs> I'm loving it, man. Yo, this game's a lot of fun, fellas. I'm telling you, man. I know it's tough to put down this dim shot. I know it's tough to put down the body armor, and believe me, I know it's tough to put down the acoustic sensor, man, especially in this game, with how many times you get shot in the back, the acoustic sensor has been a godsend for most of us, but with pretty much everyone running dead silence in the lobbies these days, and with these score streaks, these high-end score streaks actually being devastating, finally, um, I, I, I think the ComSec device, it might not be getting the respect it deserves, but I think as this game goes on, the ComSec device is going to wind up being probably the best piece of gear in the game. Come on, teammates. Taking Assault Pack now. Yeah, plus 100. Told you guys, man. Crash Specialist with the ComSec device. It'll be enemy AC-130 above. It'll be AC-130 time all day, every day. What an amazing stack. Yo, I love this gunship, dude. Let's see how many people we can make rage quit. One guy already left. Oh, another guy left. <laughs> AC-130 got people bailing out the lobby quick, baby. Enemy AC-130 up above. <laughs> Everyone's dipping. Everyone's leaving. Gunship killer. Yo, I love Black Ops 4, man. It's a great game. Treyarch, thank you so much for this. Really. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Call of Duty's back, son. It is back. And, oh, man. Look at me just racking up the medals. Racking up the kills. Bam. Oh, look at the splash damage, dude. Oh, I love it. I love it. What a great streak, bro. Even, even on a map like this, with buildings galore, it's still putting in work. Ooh. Ooh, damn. <laughs> Yo, this is too much fun. Yo, I cannot wait to try this streak out on jungle. There's no blind die in this game either. Are there any perks that protect you from the AC-130 in this game? I don't think there is. 
Now, I know even after seeing this video, there's a few of you guys out there that ain't giving up your stim shot, ain't giving up your body armor, and ain't giving up your acoustic sensor. I know you're over there. I know you're that much of a, a pro. You're like, I don't need the ComSec device, Thunder. I'm not a scrub like you. I don't need the ComSec device to get an AC-130. That's cool. But if you're a guy like me who some weird shit just always seems to happen to him and I have trouble hitting my big streaks. If you're a guy like me that has trouble hitting the high streaks regularly in this game, <laughs> definitely run the ComSec device. It will help you greatly. This is what he asked right here. I probably don't need it. He got the stim shot. <laughs> he don't look like he needs a ComSec device at all. <laughs> that dude was wrecking those kids. Oh, my God. Anyway. All right, guys. I hope this video helps you guys out. Get out there in the lobby and try the ComSec device with the Crash Specialist, dude. It's amazing. I'm telling you. Good luck hitting them high streaks. I hope this video helps you guys out. And if it did, please don't forget to like and share it. All that good stuff. Thank you guys all so much for the support. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.